My dad has a mental illness. It's a bit like having a big elephant in the room that no one talks about. When it started showing up, I wasn't sure what it was. But strange things began to happen, more and more. Then one morning, I woke up really early because I could hear Dad outside. He was standing in the road and it was there with him. Mum didn't seem happy to see it. Neither did our neighbours. But it didn't seem bothered by that. The next day, Mum didn't talk about what had happened. I thought... Maybe everything was back to normal. But when I went to say goodbye to my dad, I could barely get his attention. At school, I didn't tell anyone about what had happened. I wanted it to disappear. It didn't. After that, the situation started to become unpredictable. It would keep my dad awake at night. Other times, it wouldn't let him get out of bed. And sometimes, it would be noisy and excitable for no reason. Sometimes, we'd be left alone. But we never knew how long it would stay away for. People didn't always see it, but when they did, sometimes it was all they could see. Occasionally, a friend would ask how my dad was doing. I'd say he was fine, just to talk about something else. I wanted to pretend it wasn't there. But sometimes, the less we mentioned it, the bigger it seemed to become, until it felt like we couldn't get away from it anymore. I could tell Mum was finding things difficult. Something had to change. She spoke to Dad and made some calls. I needed to find out what was going on. We sat down at the kitchen table and chatted. She said she'd book some appointments for Dad. We were going to speak to the doctors who knew more about it. I could come too, if I wanted. She also told me that while it was unlikely the illness would disappear completely, we needed to find a way to manage it as a family and carry on with our lives. Mum said none of this was down to anything I'd done and that Dad still loved me. After that, it was just me and Mum for a while. Dad was staying at the hospital. When he came home a few weeks later, things started to get better. Now we talk about Dad's illness together. I've even chatted to my best friend about it, so I know whenever I'm worried, I've got people I can talk to. My Dad's mental illness still comes back from time to time, but we're better at spotting the warning signs and know how to manage it as a family.